Hey everybody, it's Ramona. Welcome back. Um, I have a haul for you. It is not a wax haul, but I will have a wax haul after this. I'll upload that one maybe tomorrow. Um, so I just got home from work. It was a pretty rough day. Not only I had a positive, a COVID positive patient, and then she hemorrhaged. So mm, I'm kind of over today. So I've washed all the Rona off and I'm going to have a cup of tea. And now I drink, I love coffee as well. I drink black coffee. But I drink tea that my friends and family send me from East Coast Canada, King Cold Tea. And on the East Coast of Canada, we kind of drink tea with, you know, milk and sugar, kind of like the, in the British way. Not, I mean, yeah, we do drink herbal teas and whatnot, but we also drink tea with milk and sugar, which is how I like it with King Cold Tea. But um, so somehow, you know, things just pop up in your Instagram feed. You don't know where it comes from, whatever. And this company popped up and it sounded really interesting. And so I took a chance and I ordered it. The company I'm talking about is August Tea Company. Um, and so I ordered this tea and I have, I just made my very first cup when I got out of the shower. We'll talk about this last. Um, I'll save that blend that I that I, uh, now this is not with milk and sugar, obviously, um, that I made. Okay, so anyway, it's August Tea Company. So I go to the website and I believe, of course, was there a, uh, a receipt in there? No, there's not. Um, I, I wanna say that um, for your first order, you get like 15 or 20% off. I'm pretty sure I got a first time order discount. Um, anyway, check it out on the website. This is not sponsored, by the way. I just when I was making this tea, it's like, oh, this will be really interesting to share with people. So that's what we're doing. So anyway, there's lots of different things on the website. I have the website pulled up right here. Um, sorry, my bald spot, my mask, everything was messed up. But anyway, so um, you can buy large quantities of tea, but what I opted for was the sampler. And it's a ten, It's called the Top 10 Sampler. They also have like, um, full-size teas they have um the infuser they have kettles they have different things anyway definitely recommend going to check out the website okay so i ordered the top 10 sampler which is what we're going to talk about today now so the top 10 sampler comes in 10 of these packages and i love the packaging i love the packaging and each one of these packages is good for four cups and it also comes with a measuring scoop one scoop to, to one uh, cup of water or whatever, your mug, whatever. Um, and so you got four, four servings in one pack, 10 packs. So you have 40 servings. So the sampler was $29 and um, they did say that the top 10 changes. So if I were to go back next month and order the top 10 sampler, it might be different, which is kind of interesting. I kind of like that actually. Um, I don't know, I, I, I mean, obviously I'm just trying it now, but I see myself just continuing to order samplers so I can try different ones. If I fell, you know, madly in love with one, obviously I would. I don't think I will because I still love my King Cole tea from Canada, the best. Okay, so let's talk about the teas um, and they all have like scent notes on them too. So how cool is that? Um, all right, let's just talk about the company first on this little card, as I showed you in a minute ago. Uh, from dark and boozy to bright and dreamy, August is like no tea you've ever tasted before. Our tea is wild, intense, and radically different. The best ingredients. Uh, it's easy to see why our tea is better. Our ingredients are top notch. Like a great cocktail, our tea leaves are leave a last. Our tea leaves a, a lasting impression. And only original brand, blends. Does the world really need another Earl Grey tea? We were bored of drinking the same old tea every day, so we made our own. And then there's the um, a website down there as well. Oh, and on Instagram. Oh, I need to tag them on Instagram. Okay, uh, brewing is so easy. You can do it when you're half asleep. Uh, drop the infuser, which we'll talk about here in a second, into a mug, add a scoop of tea, pour in hot water, wait five minutes, and that's exactly what I did. And it's really, a couple of sips I've had is fine. So um, I guess we'll talk about the infuser first, since they just mentioned the infuser. So this is the infuser. It's a one cup infuser and it's $14.99. It is extremely, extremely fine uh, mesh. I wouldn't even call it, oh, I guess it is, I guess, mesh, but... Um, when I when I pulled this out 
to look in my teacup. There was, there's no granules of anything in there that I can see so far. Possibly some have sunk to the, sunk to the bottom, but there's nothing floating in there. It looks pretty good. Like everything was caught in the strainer. As I said, it's very, very fine. And it has like a little lid. So when it's in your cup and the lid is on, that's going to maintain the temperature, I guess. Um, oh yeah, one cup infuser. Uh, the best tasting, most consistent way to brew loose tea. Allows tea leaves to expand for fullest flavor. Filters out small particles that can make tea bitter. Fits most mugs, travel cups, and teapots. Made of durable, machine washable, stainless steel, and the lid is silicone. Uh, same instructions, place infuser in a mug, add tea, add water, uh, time the infusion, and enjoy okay so we've talked about the infuser let's talk about the tea so again you have no choice uh in the top 10 sampler it happens to be their top 10 most purchased items in recent time i don't know what time that is okay so the first one is jet black which is rich black tea with roasted mate and espresso bean i don't know what mate is but i do love espresso well i don't love espresso i like coffee espresso is a little bit too uh, strong for me. Okay, so that's it. Rich black tea with roasted mate and espresso bean. But then on the back, they say it tastes like espresso beans, hazelnut, cane sugar, and steamed milk. Feels like breakfast in a Roman cafe. I can be down with that. Um, hopefully, I'm going to go back to Rome next year. We'll see how that goes. Okay, the next one is No By Heart. White tea with orange blossom, almond, and honey. Tastes like sweet almond, sugar cookie, and orange blossom. Feels like honeyed guitar chords. I'm not sure how that relates to tea, but okay, we'll go with that. Far afield. Warming blend of sage, ginger, and mandarin orange. These all sound really good to me. Tastes like sage, sweet mandarin orange, ginger, and licorice root. Feels like Turner's Sublime Italian Landscapes. I'll have to look that up, I guess. Combre is organic green tea with vanilla and cardamom. Tastes like pound cake, vanilla, grass, and warm hay. Mm, I'm not sure about that. Feels like unforgettable cakes in the countryside. I can get down with that. I'm not sure I want to drink warm hay. We'll see how that goes. Uh, Metropolitan. This is a vibrant black tea with bergamot, plum, and clove. Tastes like bitter orange zest, neroli flower, tart black plum, blackberry, and clove. You know, I'm just thinking here, these are good sentences to keep track of to make some customs in wax. Feels like sparkling conversation on a city terrace. All right. Dark iris is rich oolong with peach pistachio and lime sounds good tastes like peach creme fraiche irish lime block i iris lime blossom feels like georgia o'keefe flowers she's a photographer if i'm not mistaken low country is black tea with bourbon and burnt sugar notes burnt sugar buckwheat chicory and bourbon Feels like the forward familiarity of the South. Okay. Oh my gosh. Biarritz. Biarritz. No say. Velvety ru ruibos with amaretto and orange blossom. Tastes like sweet almond, burnt orange peel, armagnac, anise, and dried cherry. Feels like rustic liqueur on a languid night. That sounds very interesting, actually. Uh, painted Desert. This is crisp black tea with chili and chocolate. Tastes like dried pasilla chili, Mexican cinnamon, and cacao. Feels like soft, warm mahogany. And then finally, this is the one that I just made. It is Passage. Rich black tea with hazelnut and chocolate. Tastes like Nutella, fre French chocolate, roasted chestnuts, and dark rum. Feels like secret pleasures from the streets of Paris. Who wouldn't want to be in Paris? So that's what I have over here.
I do taste a little bit of chocolate. I'm laughing at myself. I don't really get Nutella, but I do get some chocolate and maybe some roasted chestnuts. I feel, I feel, I taste something a little bit nutty maybe, or it's not, like it's not pow chocolate. There's something kind of mellowing it out. Maybe it's that nutty note. Um, I don't really taste anything that re resembles dark rum. I do know what dark rum tastes like. Uh, but anyhow, okay, so that's it for this haul. So I'm really excited to start um, sipping these teas. Um, I have gone back to intermittent fasting again for the malt. I'll, you know, I was doing so well before coronavirus and then I just kind of lost everything. So I started last week and I've, most days I'm doing like 18, six, 16, eight, but yesterday I did 24. Today I'm going to do a 24. So these will be good. Like in the afternoon when I really want to snack on something, I think this tea might fit the bill. We'll see about that. Anyhow, um, okay, oh, and, and okay, I should mention this too. They're vegan, gluten-free, and non-GMO. So that's really cool as well. I know a lot of people are in um, those, have those dietary restrictions. So this is, I think, good for basically everybody, I think, I think. Anyhow, so I will link uh, the website down below. And I actually have the website right here. Uh, maybe I can find out where it says... Um, sorry, where it says that if you're a first time shopper, um, oh, they have mugs, they have t-shirts, um, free shipping over $30. It did ship fast. Um, I don't see anything right now that it, there's a discount, but maybe because they recognize, you know, my cookie, so it won't pull up a discount for me. But anyway, I'm, I'm actually, oh no, my, my receipts on my phone. Anyway, I'm rambling again. So that is, um, my August uncommon tea haul. So I'm liking it so far. I love the packaging. I love the infuser. Um, I'm loving everything about it. And so far I like the tea too. I don't know. Okay, yeah, that's it, it's good. So that's it for me. I'm going to probably upload this today and then I have sneak peek, sneak peek, wax, wax, wax. I will do that and I'll up upload that one tomorrow. Um, I hope everybody has a great rest of your day. It's Thursday, the weekend's coming soon and I'm off for three days. So I will see you later. Have a great week, I'll talk to you soon, bye.